Good evening and welcome to the Job Search Solution, the radio program where we talk about looking for a job, changing job, changing careers, hiring, and as always, we begin with a prayer. Dear God, grant us thy peace and thy mercy, thy will be done. And in just a few minutes, as we do every Wednesday evening, Rich Levinsky is going to be with us talking about um, consultants in the workplace. He has a great topic this evening. By the way, I wanted to mention that uh, I've written, for most of you know that I've written five books on how to find a job. We have some left over. If you wish a free book, all just you need to do is to email me, Tony at Babich.com, T-O-N-Y at B-A-B-I-C-H. Give me your name, your address, and I'll send you a free book. I wanted to continue talking this evening, as we will for the next couple of weeks, in these videos about references. Uh, this is, boy, the silent killer in so many instances, in so many situations. It happened yesterday. Um, we've been discussing in kind of different scenarios of how uh, references can hurt a candidate. And when uh, this is an instance where silence is a bad reference, the reference, the person that is giving the reference just doesn't say anything won't say anything, won't come to the phone. The candidate has given the uh, person as a reference, but the person doesn't come to the phone, won't answer anything. If they ignore the calls, ignore the phone calls, um, won't do anything. If at best we'll refer the caller that's checking a reference to the HR department if they have one, that is assumed to be a very bad reference. There's no doubt about that. And if you get a reference that does that kind of thing, it just ignores them, uh, ignores the person that's calling or ignores, just doesn't do it. You need to find a different reference. Sometimes you don't have much choice. The uh, employer has asked for a previous employer of yours and you have to give them that. And even though you've given them a heads up, they don't come to the phone. They won't return the calls. They just avoid the call. That's concerned, considered a very bad reference. Um, when the uh, when the previous employer doesn't talks around and doesn't really say anything about the previous employment, that's assumed to be a bad reference. The silence is interpreted, and the uh, uh, deflection of the questions are interpreted as bad. And that's not good either. Uh, when a bad reference is implied but not specified, that's where the uh, previous employer only answers a minimal of questions and does it in a non-empathetic, disdaining manner. Um, uh, it's considered a bad reference. For instance, if the inquiring for the person inquires about the reference and the person giving the reference um, says, uh, we wouldn't hire that person again. Are you kidding me? Absolutely, unequivocally not. Undeniably, under no circumstances, over my dead body, not in this lifetime, not alone, not ever. And it's said in the most animated uh, manner. Uh, this is considered a bad reference. It didn't give a didn't give a bad reference, but just made it real clear that it nobody got along real well at all. When a reference is poorly informed, this happens a lot. Uh, I had a situation a number of years ago where the employer was hiring the candidate to make a lot of um, a lot of calls. It was a very high uh, velocity type of sale, uh, making a lot of phone calls to a lot of people, selling small deals to um, many people at a time, and um, many people over uh, uh, and to companies that were less than five hundred million. When the reference was checked, the person that uh, gave the reference went on to about went on about how the candidate was real good at selling real big deals. Um, was not good at cold calling, didn't make a lot of calls, 
but was real good at courting really big deals with real real good at schmoozing large national accounts um, and was real good at selling large deals. Well, the job itself was totally opposite from the reference that he was given. And they, obviously the person didn't get hired because the um, uh, the mainly because the candidate didn't get a hold of the reference and say, look, this is the kind of job that I am interviewing for. Would you please emphasize my um, aggressiveness and my ability to make a lot of calls? And he had that in his background. But when this particular reference was checked, he didn't know because the candidate didn't call him and tell him that he was um, that the kind of job he was interviewing for. So the moral is, the lesson is, you've got to um, prepare your references for the kind of job you are being interviewed for and the kind of reference that you need to ask you need to ask for and the kind of reference that this person needs to give uh, the hiring uh, the previous manager tried to call back and fix it up but it didn't it didn't go anywhere these kind of things are little but when they pile up they can cost a candidate a job you need to protect your references if you get as far uh, in an interviewing process as reference checking you probably got a pretty good shot at the job you can't afford to have references imply negatives, not give a reference at all, or give a totally um, poorly informed reference. So you need to think about those kind of things when you're when you're getting references and um, having them give uh, a reference to a prospective employer. All right, we're going to take a short break. Stay tuned. This is Tony Bashar with the Job Search Solution. <music> 